Hello my dear dear friends, this is Michelle. In this tutorial you'll see how to do these bowls, these two different kind of bowls with 10 minute resins. This is the big deal here. How to use 10 minute resin and do these really quick bowls. Let's see the process. And for this project I will use Smooth Cast 300. Uh, this is a really great product for this purpose and I hope you give it a try and we will use uh, bags and pigments and a little cups to mix the resin and to measure the resin and of course something to be the base of our bowl and I will use these trash bags and I will add pigments this is red devil pigments from smooth on and this will gives us a different view of the bowl. And just like that, we will put the pigments on the trash bag. Uh, we will think more or less in the area our resin will take in the bag. And that's it. By the way, I miss you girls, I miss you a lot. Almost two months, no videos, what the hell. And you don't have to say it. I know you miss me. Of course, I know. And then we have to be careful with the measuring thing. One to one, to one ratio for this resin. And remember, this resin will cure white. And when we have our resin so that that is so pigment with white, we have to be careful with choosing colors. So be careful with this part. From this moment, you need to be very careful. You will start to mix the resin, but no more than one minute. And this minute, you will, you will feel warm the resin and it's ready to pour. And not hot, warm. And then you start to pour and try to put the resin in the place that you want. This will hard really, really quick. And in the moment that you note the resin start to tint on white, you have to put immediately the bag in the base that you prepare. And this is all the thing, the whole thing. This will happen two or three minutes right after you pour the resin and it's the moment to put them in the base and right after we put in the base we have just one minute or one minute and a half to put the things in order to shape our bowl and we have to wait a little bit and maybe six or five minutes and it's done i have another trick here and this is the trick you have to do this when the resin is still hot not warm it has to be hot or the pigment won't be part of the resin so when the resin is still hot 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 you can put the pigments all over the place and they will remain in the in the resin or you can leave it on white that's your decision and honestly you have to, one minute to do this or the pigments will fail because the resin will start to cold and it won't be part of the thing and don't forget to subscribe like or share thank you Okay, and this was my favorite part of the process. Now it's time for the big reveal. We just need to take out the trash bag and see how the inside come. You have to be very precise in the way that you put the pigments because that's the way they will look. So be careful in that point of the process and don't forget to have fun. I will just cut the drips with my hands or try to fix the little imperfections and that's it. 
I want I won't sand this bowl, but the next one we'll see what happens. And this is another technique to do these bowls. I want to do a key container and this will be small and I will use these um, awesome pigments and these are UV pigments this will avoid that the thing get yellow with the time and I will do the same process done before to taint the back with the pigments and I will use bronze and emerald or green for this bowl And I will do a half deep plate to help me to contain the resin in a place to have a different shape of the bowl. And I want to say thank you, thank you, really thank you for all your support and your patience. It was a really, really busy end of the year and now I'm in the road again. So thank you, thank you. And if you have doubts or something, don't forget to write or like or do something that tells me that dislike you or didn't like you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am doing the same than before and I will just cover the holes with the different pigments I have. And that's it. I think I have to stop saying that's it. Okay, that's it. Okay guys, this is important. Uh, most of you already know how to work with 10 minute resin, but some of you don't. So I will explain how how we taint the pigment, the resin, I'm sorry. We will add in the part B the pigments note in the A part. In the part B we'll add the pigments. And I will add green and a little bit of black but remember that this color won't be exactly when we end the project the color we will have when you use epoxy resin in dries or cure transparent the color it's the same but when you use 10 minutes resin the color is not the same that you prepare so keep that in mind this will be different and you have to do trials before to do a big pour in order not to, to waste your resin for this project is the same don't mix more than one minute and pour immediately and be careful you can feel how the resin is start to warm in two minutes or less than that the point with this technique is that I have long drips because when it starts to cure, it not cures completely but there is um, spaces with more resin than others and I have to put immediately the back in the place and the drips will fail and they will be longer than the others and that's what I'm trying to do it's not but it seems like a jellyfish, but um, I tried to do uh, a key container and a small thing. It, this is really strong and this is really, really hot in this moment. So you have to be careful. You can loud at me the, as much as you want because I saw my jellyfish. <laughs> I, really, I am seeing my jellyfish. If you don't, you have problems or something. <laughs> Okay, it's me who has problems. And I will sand this to have a better finish, but it's not necessary, I think. Um, this is a great tool for a resinist artist because uh, it's a save of time, but at the end, it's your decision. Don't forget to tell me what you think, if this is useful or not, to leave a comment. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. See you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>